So to do the cap, I will hide the model, then I will go hide, uh, show the site profile, and then we go to the front, and then we can zoom in. There we are. Very good. To the bottle, we would like to add a very simple rotatable spout. I'll zoom out a little bit, then I will go to sketch. I will close this, zoom in a little bit more, and we can now plan out where we want everything to sit. This upper line is 30 millimeters long. So that means I can draw another line to the left and make this line equally long. I also make sure that this line is horizontally constrained. Very good. Then I can draw a line straight down. And this line I will dimension to eight millimeters. This line should be also vertically constrained and draw a horizontal line over. So this is basically the, the part of the spout that will rotate out. Now we have to also create the axis part. For this, let's go to circle. I start drawing somewhere a circle. Where I draw it doesn't really matter as much. The, the, uh, the diameter will be 14 millimeters. And now this circle, I would like to be tangent onto that line. And there we are. And then this line, I will connect and make coincident uh, constraint to that circle. The circle I can now move left and right. And essentially, this is now the, the axis part. If I zoom down, I can see that right here, for example, I actually draw a vertical line. This is a one millimeter mutual thickness. This is not very much. So I will change this to 12 millimeters, make this a little bit smaller. So I have sufficient amount of material. This is a really um, effective trick very often, specifically also when you work with the grid, you can use the grid to count dimensions, material thickness, for example, in this case. We also need to be aware of the left and the right side. In, at the moment, this is just only like a two dimensional sketch. But if I now show the cap, and actually I go to the front view and turn on the section cut, we can select these two, three sketch regions, and then start cutting into it six millimeters. So what I try to verify is where I'm tapping, and I'm going to have enough material thickness. I don't want to get too close to these areas. This actually right now looks pretty good. So I will turn this uh, back off, go to the sketch, and then I will dimension this a little bit more. From the circle to the line, I would like to have a specific distance. And there's a very easy trick to do this. I will draw one line from the center to the ring, make this horizontal. And then there now I could draw another line. Or I can select this point and the line and specify this six millimeters. This line is only for construction purpose. So I make this a construction line. And then this line to this point will be six millimeters too. So now I have this actually perfectly left and right equally dimensioned. I will go to the front view one more time. And because I drew this one line here, I can also draw a line straight up, make this line vertical because the this nearly triangular um, area, we will need to cut out two. 
Very good. So what we can do now is I will select all these sketch uh, regions and then I will extrude this six millimeter one side and then extrude this six millimeter the other side. I still have the section cut turned on, can turn this simply off, then show my cap and there we are and then here's the cap and this is actually the the spout I will subtract this time I only want to have only the removed body to maintain so there now we have the space cut out super simple let's call the spout there very nice We'll go back to the front view, turn on my section cut. This looks actually pretty good. So here we have sufficient material. This is a little bit thicker, but in terms of manufacturing, this is easier to keep it this way. It's not that much more material. And then here is the, the spout. So the spout actually, we can start detailing a little bit more. I will turn off the section cut turn off the spout because the spout also needs a rotation and a slot to go in. So I go into the sketch, go to circle, and then I will add at this point a small circle. Two millimeters um, is very small. Four millimeters will be a, a more secure axis. So because the, the spout has actually six by six or 12 millimeters um, at the width, we should extrude this to seven millimeters at least, and then we make this 14 millimeters. So we have one millimeter as an extrusion. There we are. These two parts we can join together. Sorry, this was the wrong command. And I also need to cut this piece out. You see how I am extruding this a little bit longer. It's a little trick. Now I'm bring this back and then I show the spout and from the spout, I'm going to remove this one. There we are. Beautiful. Cool. So now we can double tap the spout, move the rotation widget and center it right on that axis and play with how this could rotate. So this will work actually perfectly. It's a very easy way to prototype mechanical elements. I will hide actually the spout, go to the front view, and then this sketch I would like to continue editing because now we also have to create the groove through which the spout will be pressed into the cap. So right here, I create a line. Again, I use the grid, makes it very easy for the alignment, horizontal and a vertical. And then with the trim command, I snip away the top parts. And what I can do now is select these elements. And now six, 12 millimeters is the spout, seven, no? 14 millimeters is actually the axis and I would like to have a little bit of a um, less uh, distance so instead of seven I will make this 6.5 and then the same here um, so this will be then 13 millimeters very good let's take a look at the cap 
there we are. Now you can see how this is now half a millimeter left and right intersecting. And from this, I will remove this one. Very good. Okay. And here's the spout. From this, I will remove the spout. Careful. Here we want to keep our spout. Let's turn the spout off. And look at that. There we have the openings. So now it's a slight groove. We can press this in. But the groove is actually too narrow. So a little bit of mechanical modeling. We can now select these two edges and then we use the chamfer command. So I will move the arrow towards the edge by 0.5 uh, millimeters. So this is exactly the width of this axis part. And then these two lines I will select and with the move command, simply drag this down. So now right there, I have just a very small narrow um, part where it will get tight and then it will snap into these holes. To make that transition also easier, I selected these two lines and then I moved the arrow away and round this nicely. There we are. So this will slide in really good. Perfect. So there we have the, the spout. Nice. We can then go ahead and start adding more details. Make this five millimeters. If we made this five millimeters, we rounded that lower part. Then we should also do the same with the cap. I could use a Boolean command or I simply apply the filleting to each part individually. Very good. So now it's time to detail the spout even more. This edge, I will fill it by one millimeter. So if I put my lips onto it, this will be nice and comfortable. And then the interior space, I will core out with one millimeter. Very good. And then this, I will round by half a millimeter. So we just break the sharp edge just a little bit. And we zoom in here, we can see that we have here and here also this cut, I will select these two faces and delete them. And then I will do the same on the right side, just to make this part a little bit easier to manufacture. Very good. Because all I need is just honestly, this part to be extruded, because this is the access part. This will get a lot of stress, this has to be very stable. And this way, it really is. To make the animation uh, rotating, prototyping this easier, I will go add construction, and then select uh, through cylinder, click on this surface and click done. And then this, I will move in a little bit more. Because now when you, for example, see this whole piece together, I can, when you see this whole piece together, I can, because now when you see this together, I can double tap on the spout and then move my move widget or rotate, rotation widget onto that axis line and then use this simply to rotate it. Perfect. Very nice, very good. I will undo this part. Now, to, we also need to have something to move actually the spout out. So the cap I will remove. I will go into section cut. I will show the side profile and then I will go to sketch and add a rather tiny element. 
two millimeters will be fine. It doesn't have to be very big. There we are. Very good. This line I will angle a little bit simply to give this more strength. The base is thicker. And then I extrude this three millimeters one direction and then we will set this to six millimeters turn off section cut there we can see where this is this is actually perfect very good and union them together into one piece now to perfect the design i will move my rotation widget again onto the axis and then rotate this over very good and now i can see that this is a little bit above here i will select these two yeah, kind of like left and right faces and then move this down two millimeters two millimeters okay that means also here i move these over two millimeters so the sketch is updated and now when i rotate this back you will see this perfectly overlaps beautiful so this boat is actually nearly done what we need to work on now is add also all the details for the cap so this is one millimeter, which means these vertical lines, we can also round by one millimeter. Here, this is actually half a millimeter. So we will do the same here. There we are, beautiful. And then these two edges I select and fillet them by one millimeter half a millimeter and play with this how this looks beautiful this is rather very linear but this is also for the mechanical part we can keep this as is here because this rotates in and out this is now actually nice and cleaner to finish the cap we can select this edge and then fill it this a little bit two millimeters one millimeter making it consistent with what we have very good okay so the spout is kind of done and what is now missing is how do we do the fluid flow also here again i will go to the front view then I will go into a section cut. Then I will show my side profile and go into editing the sketch. And right in the area where I'm tapping, this is now where I would like to have a small opening. This is where then where a silicone insert could go in. Again, because I'm using the grid, I can just simply go down along the grid and draw here a line. And then I will draw a second line to the right. This is the center. This is actually the, um, the right side. So 1.5 millimeters, three millimeters diameter we have. Then I will, with nothing selected, draw a horizontal line, draw a horizontal line. I will actually simply with the trim command remove the lower parts that makes it a little bit cleaner and this is now the bigger opening and I will go ahead rotate my view then exit the sketch select the sketch regions select the center part and do a revolve Rotate the view. So from this part, I would like this center plug kind of like simply cut out and just remove it. So there's now the big opening. Very good. 
I will undo the step one more time. Um, and just then do uh, subtract one more. But this time specify to keep the removed body. Because what I will do now is in this view, I will go to the spout, double tap it, move my widget to the center, and then rotate the spout 90 degrees. And now from the spout, I will now remove this one, subtract, and this time none. Okay. There, perfect. So because I rotated the spout right into this position and I had this other part, you see now these holes perfectly overlap. And I will rotate the spout simply back. Very good. Nice. Now this is actually a really big opening and we can quite easily, with what we have already sketched, create also a representation for a silicone plug. All I need to do is simply add a little bit more of geometry, a vertical line, a horizontal line, a vertical line, make sure everything's horizontally, vertically constrained. We can specify the dimensions more, but before I do this, I want to make sure that my two reference lines are also locked, so they cannot move. 0.5, there we are. And then the opening here, 0.5. So we have one millimeter of fluid that could come through. Maybe this is a little bit too small. 0.75, make this a little bit bigger. Very good. Then I will actually exit the sketch. I will turn off the visibility for the cap and the spout. There we are. And now what I will do is I will select this part. So these two sketch regions, then the center axis, do a revolve. Very nice. And show the spout. And then from the silicone ring, I will remove the volume of the spout. Subtract, I would like the spout to maintain. There we are. This is the upper, there's the upper part. This now we can delete. And there we have that insert. You can call this silicone ring, silicone seal. Very good, perfect. We also need to have a little bit of an air intake when we drink something. So I will select these four sketch regions, create a revolve, there we are. Two millimeter is fine, this can be smaller. Then I will double tap, move this over. I will show the cap body. So I can see where this is. There we are. And you can see at the bottom, it perfectly fits in. So I select the cap, I select this, this body, and say subtract. I don't really need anything to stay there, click done. And then while this doesn't cut completely through, not a big problem. I simply move this face up and create the passage for the air to come through. Very good. There we are. So a little bit of cleaning up actually really will help. So the silicone ring is actually um, a partner that goes to the cap, the axis, the spout, and then the cap. This all will go into one folder. And then swipe left, and we call this cap. 
So with this, we can turn this on and off very easily.